Good evening. Tonight we're going to have a look at a radio that I picked up while overseas. Um, these aren't available in Australia uh, unless you uh, purchase them through uh, eBay or something of that nature. Um, it is, of course, the National Panasonic uh, GX500 or RF3500. Um, readily available in Europe, and uh, which is where I uh, where I picked this up. And um, yeah, let's have a brief look at the features of it. Rather large speaker over this side of the radio. Of course, your on-off switch, uh, analog tuning dial, tuning LED there. Uh, you've got a wave chain switch, uh, which. You can see there is FM, long wave, medium wave and short wave. And um, the band selector switch here. Over this side you have a, a rotary volume control and a rotary tuning control. Quite a good carry handle. And of course your um, uh, telescopic antenna. And here you'll see a um, two position um, tone control over the back of the radio uh, you've got your battery compartment as you'd expect and um, over this side you've got your AC input now performance wise not a bad radio I had the opportunity to listen to it a fair bit overseas and um, on long wave, it uh, performed quite well. On uh, medium wave, uh, again, I was quite surprised that uh, it's uh, quite good performance, as is as was FM. But I did notice that on short wave, uh, there was a fair bit of breakthrough uh, from powerful uh, FM stations. So um, obviously, the front end of this particular radio is a little bit. Um, uh, average I suppose but anyway uh, some of its other shortcomings I suppose a little bit flimsy in the tuning knob certainly the volume control knob is flimsy uh, but that's commensurate I suppose with um, today's manufacturing guidelines for this sort of uh, electronic device uh, tuning on shortwave uh, goes from roughly uh, around about 5.8 megahertz uh, through to about 18.2 megahertz um, your um, medium wave is pretty well the standard broadcast band uh, 520 kilohertz through to about 1650 kilohertz and uh, long wave is around about 150 um, um, kilohertz through to 285 kilohertz and of course your standard 88 to 108 megahertz FM band. Um, it, I suppose, is bought out uh, in the series, which I have of a previous uh, uh, video, um, which is the, the GX3. And um, these are a much more solid radio uh, of the... Uh, of the day, um, a fair bit older, of course, and only three band FM, medium wave, and one short wave band dispenses with the long wave. But the uh, the actual quality of the older National Panasonic is uh, far in advance of what's available now. And having said that, um, it's quite a reasonable performer, and um, you know, uh, if you're a little bit uh, careful on your tuning and shortwave bands um, it'll give you some interesting um, results there obviously no DXA but then again it's just a a, a consumer radio and uh, built to price so um, if you get the opportunity I suppose so uh, yeah you know they're worthwhile uh, good good for standby radio um, and um, as I said, the audio performance is, uh, is quite good on them. Okay, Dave, well, there's a, a brief rundown on the National Panasonic RF3500 or the GX500, um, as you can see there. 
they're still available um, online at the present moment and uh, also in shops uh, throughout Europe and the UK and Ireland. Um, however, um, not so in Australia. Um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed tonight's uh, video. Uh, I won't bother tuning around on it. It's a you know a little bit touchy uh, to do it uh, with um, uh, with this uh, handheld camera, but uh, just to try something here anyway on route for gas bin. Um, there we go. There's there's uh, Wellington in New Zealand uh, from my home QTH here in uh, Central Western New South Wales. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation on this radio, and uh, look forward to um, bringing the next one to you. Cheers for now. Bye.